Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to work on managing access with RBAC. And in this series of videos, we have been working on several labs for AZ900 or the Microsoft Azure Fundamental Exam. I'm going to give you the link to this resource in the video. And we have already created 14 other videos to cover all of these labs. If you have any questions, please refer back to the other videos and uh, you should be able to find, uh, you know, how to implement each of these labs. So in this one, we are going to start managing access with RBAP, which is a very, very important concept in, uh, uh, in, in Azure or any other access control. Role-based access control is what it's called, RBAC. So let's just take a look at what we are going to do. So we're going to view and assign roles to different uh, type of roles to uh, uh, an identity and we're going to monitor the role assignments and remove role and that's pretty much it it's not a whole lot it's a pretty small lab it looks like it should be done pretty quickly so let's go to the azure portal and uh, go to uh, resource groups and we're going to create a new resource group so and this is all done via the portal so just go over there uh, resource group you search for it resource group you click on it then you add a resource group and uh, the name we want my resource group are back so let's uh, do that uh, that's a name where do you want it didn't copy the right thing so let's copy it one more time pretty different now it's good and east us is great so let's just say review and create and create so that's uh, is giving us the resource group and we're going to go to the iam identity and access management for that particular resource group where is my resource group it's not showing up so just refresh the page Refresh the page again. Where did it go? All right, sometimes you just have to refresh it a couple more times. Yeah, <laughs> uh, RBAC. Okay, my RBAC. This is the resource group that we're working on. I should delete some of the other resource groups. All right, in here, Access control is the IAM blade, so you just go there. It should take you and give you all of the options. And uh, what we want, then switch to the roles tab. So if I'm if I'm here, you have check access roles assignment, deny assignments, classic administrators, and then the roles. So let's go to this tab and review what we have in here. So scroll through the large number of roles definition that are available so as you're already going to give you a lot of built-in roles that you can use uh, use this information to get an idea of each role's permissions notice there is also information on the number of users and groups that are assigned to each role so this is very very e e useful information to us so if you have this role uh, who how many users got this role right now none service principal looks like contributor I have two so you can go through this list uh, right now I don't have too many people here so it's a demo account so we don't have too much going on but three roles are very very important for you to understand one is the owner next is contributor and the reader owner usually got all kinds of permissions as you you can tell just by the name Contributor means it's got almost all the permissions as of the owner, but he cannot assign new permission to anybody else. And the reader permission means you can read everything, but you cannot do any any edit, any any editing, deleting, any of that kind of activity. You cannot operate on any of the resource, but you can read that resource. All right, let's go back over here. Uh, switch to the roles assignments tab. And click add and add role assignments assign the virtual machine contributor role to your user account so let's come over here so uh, come I'm in that uh, tab right now so let's go back over here let's go back to overview 
and from there um, I am uh, role assignments where we want to go and uh, let's see what we're trying to do we are click add and then add role assignments click add and then add role assignment and what we want to do is select a role I think they want me to be a contributor add role assignment assign the virtual machine contributor no not contributor the virtual machine contributor so let's do that uh, role is gonna be let's see virtual machine contributor so we got that role and uh, who am I so is he 300 so that's myself so I have added uh, and then you remember to save this so this role is now added um, to this I am okay so that role is now assigned and uh, I'm a user and uh, um, uh, we got the virtual machine contributor role assigned to me okay let's go over here and uh, so we got that assign access service principle and your usernames I think we got all of that not the virtual machine contributor role lets you to manage virtual machine but not access their operating system or manage the virtual network or network or, or the storage account they are connected to so think how granular this is so it will only let me operate the virtual machine or manage the virtual machine but I will not have access to their operating system not even to the virtual network not even to the storage account okay so we have done that uh, refresh the road assignment page to ensure that you are in list as virtual machine contributor so we have already looked at that I'm now listed and uh, this assignment does not actually grant you additional privileges since your account has already the owner role which includes all privileges so this really you know if you really want to test since I am the owner of this whole uh, subscription it's not really giving you anything new so just uh, note that uh, next is monitor role assignments and remover role so how do you do that in this task uh, we will view the activity log to verify the role assignments so on the resource group we're gonna go to the activity log so in our resource group let's see our activity log where is our activity log let's go to our uh, activity log is in the next blade right here so uh, here I have uh, two activities update resource group then create a role assignments that's listed over here okay uh, click add filter select operations create role assignments so here they're saying uh, I don't have the I don't see the add filter so really the filter means they're trying to say over here uh, subscription event severity uh, let's see timestamp add filter <laughs> yeah, yeah so I got it so add filter uh, what kind of filter we want we want operation and then create role assignments so add filter then operation then create role assignment now notice that since uh, we only had two we really didn't have to do that but think about if you have hundreds of logs so this is going to be very useful to you so now we have added a new filter and now this is the only thing that is showing up right verify the activity log shows your role assignment and uh, congratulations you have assigned roles and viewed the activity log uh, and then to avoid additional cost you can move to resource group uh, click on delete resource group uh, monitor the notification so it's not uh, it didn't really remove that role so but it's uh, it showed that we have assigned this role over here 
so that's uh, the end of this lab really so if you really wanted to remove that uh, role that I have I think all you need to do is just go in there okay and click on role assignments you have this role just click over here and you just say remove are you sure you remove the circle rule assignment you just say yes and that role is now gone okay so that part was not there in the lab but I have given you now so you know how to do that all right so that's the end of the lab so we in this lab we looked at the RBAC real quick and you have a uh, you know somewhat understanding what it is you probably will need to learn a lot more about it and we'll keep going back to our back time to time to give you more experience now if you like the video give me a thumbs up leave your comment please subscribe and share the video with others thank you good luck with the exam